All right, so we have two uh, day two of the jellyfish. So my jellyfish bodies are hard and ready to paint. So, and my background is dry, so I'm gonna just put that aside. And I had white clay, so you could leave your bodies white, but I'm just gonna paint them a color. So I'm gonna paint them. So you have your bodies, and you also need some paint available, and you need a water and paper towels just to wash and dry your brush. So I'm gonna take my jellyfish bodies, and I wanna make them like an orange coral color. So all I'm gonna use, I'm gonna, ha I have some yellow, I'm gonna put some white into it and mix it up. And then I'm gonna take a tiny bit of red and mix it into my red, and mix it into my yellow. So I'm gonna get a nice light orange. Once I get that light orange, I'm gonna coat my bodies with that light orange. And I'm only gonna do one coat. And make sure you just do those edges too. So we're gonna paint these, then we'll paint some tentacles, and then we will let it everything dry, and then we'll come back, and then we're gonna add details using dots to our the bodies of our jellyfish. Your hands might get a little messy, that's okay. Doing this outside so you might hear a little wind. Okay, so once you have those set aside, I'm gonna wash and dry my brush real good. Make sure especially wash, take off some of that paint that's on top. Wash and dry, beautiful. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna make some tentacles. I'm gonna set these aside, let them dry fully, and then make some tentacles. So you could kind of see it, you could kind of see my circles that I made, and then my tentacles coming off. So with white, so I'm gonna take my little brush, put a tiny bit of white, the less paint, the better. And you're just going to just make some, you could, don't even have to follow your old lines, you could just make some new lines. Make some just stringy lines. Jellyfish. If anyone's ever been stung by a jellyfish, they know it's not very pleasant. Need to stay away from those tentacles. So the less paint you have on your brush, just the thinner your lines will be. If you want to do this in a color, go for it too. I'm just doing it in white, just so it's easier. So you could just imagine my bodies are gonna be on top of there. If you want to, while you have a little paint white on your brush, you can put some bubbles in your ocean. So you make a circle and then on the one side of the bubble, just make like a little line. You could do different size bubbles. My wind is shaking a little bit. All right, so once you have those tentacles done, you can push this aside. Hopefully our bodies are dry, mostly dry. All right, so now we're gonna start decorating our jellyfish. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the back of our paintbrush. We're almost gonna make like a pointillism. <laughs> so the bigger your paintbrush, generally, this is a small paintbrush, the bigger the back of your paintbrush will be. So I am using my small paintbrush, I want small little dots. So basically in the center of each jellyfish, and you could do whatever color you're gonna want, I'm gonna do black. I'm gonna put a nice big black dot in the center or as close to the center as you can. Oop. Once you have that big black dot, you need to get your paper towel. And you could wipe off the paint that's on your paintbrush. 
My paper towel flew away. So next is the fun part. So we're gonna add with, I'm gonna use white paint, but you again could use any color you want. If you're jellyfish or white, you could use any, you could use red, blue, whatever color you want. And with the back of your brush and a small amount of white, you could add little dot dots to like decorate your jellyfish. And you could do them all the same, or I'm gonna try and make each one a little different. So there's my first jellyfish body. My second, I'm just gonna make dots around. That's all around. And if you want to put like two different color dots, go for it. my little jellyfish. So then I'm gonna push everything away. So my bodies are still a little wet, so I'm gonna bring back my boards and I'm just gonna place where my body should go. So I'm gonna move that one here. I'm gonna see how it looks. I think this one needs a little something. I'm gonna add some dots. Ooh. Make sure the back of your paintbrush is not wet. Yeah, you shouldn't wash the back of your paintbrush. And I'm just gonna put dots all around here. And the dots sometimes take a while to dry. But the only thing you're gluing is really the bodies. You're only really gluing the bodies now. So what you could do is, let me get some. I just have some glue set aside. So once your bodies, at least the dots may be dry, but what you could do is take some glue. I have my glue. Oh, my paintbrush. It's very windy outside. Take some glue, put some glue on the back of your brush. Uh, put the glue on the back of the jellyfish and just glue the bodies down. And then you're gonna just let those dry. And once they're dry, you are finished with your jellyfish. And you could let them swim away. So beautiful. So make sure when you're finished, when it's all dry, you take a picture. You either send it to Kristen and myself um, on Instagram or Facebook, and we'll put like a little video together at the end of the week to show you other people's projects. Because even though we are to apart, we could still see all each other's artworks. All right, hope you had a good one.